Hi guys, I'm Margaret. It's your boy Ewell. This is Can We Talk About It? A show where we talk about random New York things, politics, and uh, what's happening in the culture. So what's going on this week, Margaret? Unfortunately, we start off with a win for Yule, um, which I hope I never have to say again because it hurt. I didn't like saying it. <laughs> in his whole um, battle of people versus the subway versus the MTA mm -hmm. for subway mishaps. So um, um, what I've been saying for quite some time is that people think they hate the MTA, but they honestly just hate the people of New York because. That's where 95 of the MTA's problems come from. Dad, I don't know where you're getting this 95, 95 of their problems 95%. out of a myriad of problems. 95 out of what? 20,000 problems. 95%. That, okay, where are you problems. getting that number from? I'm getting it from uh, realfacts.com. Um, anyway, so. What happened here in New York? There was an incident this past week. It's been an ongoing issue of someone purposefully pulling the emergency brake um, in order to cause delays. This agent of havoc, um, Isaiah Thompson, he was arrested this week. Um, they caught him. They, there have been 37 incidents, I believe, something in the 30s, of someone purposely pulling the brake. Um, and they have him on camera doing it three times. Like you smiling, sure. you smiling all smug. He's only twenty three years old. Okay, so how long could he have been at this? For the so subway's many years. been trash forever. Um, yes, because of the people. Since the inception of the subway, New Yorkers have been trash. Anyway, okay. Anyway, so so that's really wild. Though. He's yeah, like, he, he really did. He did like, too much. <laughs> yeah, he's he's prolific though. I'll give him that. He's actually has um seventeen. Uh, like, I don't know if it was actual charges, but I think like, like other counts of incidents and like yeah. that, that he's done in, in the subway, so, but all subway related. So he has like a like he's like he's a, a subway person super or something. Like, yeah, yeah, he's like, you remember that um, character from Hey Arnold, the sewer king? Oh, yeah, my God. he's like the sewer king and he's just defending his realm from us, the intruders. Or something like that but no he like he like slashed somebody he threw someone I don't know if that was like in the tracks so or he just like threw them um, he exposed himself to people while uh, train like riding the yeah, train or tr yeah, um, subway surfing they said. subway surfing uh, yeah at 14th he's, he's Street down right a uh, subway super bill it's wild like uh, we don't have many heroes down there so he's just been running free committing all these yeah. crimes Slashing people. For no reason, like why would you want to create train delays? Some men just like to watch the world burn. <laughs> As they say. Yeah, um I think this man, like I said, is just another, you know, part of the skirt of New York City that keeps our subways delayed. And uh, No, no, no. But well, he's a, he went above and beyond. He's impressive. Like he is. Do you think I'm he's like, responsible well, for all thirty seven? I think he's responsible for so much more than thirty seven. Like <laughs> This and man is out of. They out only of have thirty-seven line. or some thirty, num some number in the thirties amount of. Yeah, if you like have like thirty-seven counts and like you're a suspect for those, I assume that you got away with a lot more than just the thirty-seven. Like I feel like he's been at this for a while, and it's not only that he's got caught doing it three times; it's that he has so much other wild shit under his belt that I think he's just he's wilding. Yeah, no, it's facts. The thing is, he could end up getting the blame for all of it, even if, let's say, he has a few partners in crime, um, case of mistaken identity, if they all look similar. That takes us to our next topic in no politics. Um, this week, uh, AOC, um, AOC. Al Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, she spoke out against tech companies who use facial recognition software and then kind of work with ICE and other government agencies. Um, to share that technology with them mm -hmm. because the technology is largely created by white men It's sort of like works mostly to recognize white male features I exactly. thought it was weird. It wasn't even like it couldn't recognize white women. Um, I was like I like I think it, it could the thing is like it's just it just prominently and like dominantly recognizes white men the correct way right. This is the thing. I think it identifies everyone but it makes more mistakes the further you are from a white male. Right. So if you're like a black woman, like it's just not tuned, fine tuned to find your, your facial features, features exactly, right. and your features. And that yeah. creates a huge problem, yeah. especially when it comes to 
things like oh uh, finding someone or or cases of mistaken identity right or um they were even, yeah. yeah they were talking about this one guy who like he kept getting arrested in the apple store because the facial recognition technology thought that he was somebody else and this happened to him more than once you know it's fucked up yeah it's that we've come to the point and we've gone so far backwards that now even our robots are racist <laughs> <laughs> like, how, the future is racist. <laughs> yeah, like, how we make AI racist, bro? Like that's wild. I mean, and you know when it started? It I'm gonna tell you when it started. Yeah, it started on Snapchat. Yeah, I know what you're talking right? about. Yeah. Because the lighter you are, the more uh, the filters work for you. That's and true. So the dark people have trouble with that. It's kind of the same thing. I don't like. At first, I was like, maybe it's just a lighting issue because you know people dark people are darker. Like that's the yeah. kind of thing I went with. But no. Nah, Did like, you have trouble with the Snapchat film? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like you couldn't get it to like. Nah. Really? Yeah, like several times, like, especially in like early Snapchat. Right. It was just like. The technology has improved slightly, though, right? Yeah, clearly. Like they turned us into Is females that? and males, and like, <laughs> turned us into babies. I wonder if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it's improved enough to the degree that it now at least recognizes that you have a face. But not enough to differentiate that face from another black face. Yeah. And <laughs> the problem's gonna really Better come to be up. no face, no case, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather they not be able to recognize this at all. Right, exactly. Like that wasn't me. Yeah. Actually <laughs> that was a, of, that was a blur. That was just a black shadow. <laughs> actually though, like and if like if I would have the same problem if it worked better for black people than it did for white people. Like like I would still have that same problem because that would mean it's kind of like targeting us and it's like identifying us better. Right, but then you could say if you're innocent, then you wouldn't get mistaken for another black person who is actually guilty of Yeah, the but crime also if, it, if the technology is pretty shitty now, you also have a solid case to be like, that ain't me. That's true, but maybe it's too late by the time you get to say that ain't me. You're thinking for the criminals. I see where your mind's at. Anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my fifth amendment right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, do you, do you see like there being any kind of conclusion to this? Isn't this just the direction the technology is moving in? Really I, that, I yeah. always like, we, we love AOC and it's always great when she calls attention to these kind of things and also to actually have a person on Congress who like understands the different modes of technology like you don't have you remember the when they were uh having the uh the hearings with um zuckerberg and they were like on the facebook oh, yeah. how, do you, how, how do you how do you add use? friends yes like <laughs> I, do you I have a lot of people yeah. that want to be friends but i don't know what do you click and it's yeah. like like Zuckerberg was just in there, like you're yeah. all idiots. You're all yeah. idiots. It's like I know that we have you here to question you about uh, privacy concerns, but uh, I, I have this thing. How do I how do I send a private message to my niece instead of just posting it on the wall? I accidentally told everybody about my irregular bowel movements. Like that was what was going on in that hearing. So yeah. it's very refreshing to have AOC exactly. know the technology she's talking about. But I just wanted to like. Does it? It's only going to matter. Is it like? A, is it a conversation going to go past. anywhere? Yeah. Privacy is a thing to pass. Like it really is, and then a lot of the conversation was just uh, how did like we have a right to privacy, but there's cameras yeah. every damn where. Like it's, yeah, and it's only going to get worse. Like she was saying, Amazon. Like she 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 went on to talk about other tech companies. Yeah, but Amazon, she started Facebook, off with Amazon. Stuff. How? In what instance does Amazon get your face picture? That's a good wow, question. So now I should like, well, how does Amazon get the how face picture? Like, when they get the face, where do they put it? No, uh, <laughs> no yeah, but that's in a good what question. instance do you... They uh, sell you a MacBook and then like, they just get <laughs> the camera. I, all right, well... I, I don't know, I have no yeah, idea. No. <laughs> like, what does Amazon have that... Drones? I don't know, now I'm scared. No, I'm like, what, does Amazon have I'm my scared. face I picture? I, I mean, care. everyone has. I don't even everything. care at this point. Like, no, exactly. I know, it's all, over. All of my information is everywhere. No fact. Once they don't have my social security number, I'm pretty fine. Yeah. Like, whatever. Did I tell you about, um, I think I've mentioned this even on the show before, that I had a friend and someone got like all of her information, opened a credit card at like K Jewelers under her name, but then paid it off in time so her credit score went up. I didn't ever tell you about that. What a hero! What? <laughs> so it's not all. It's not not all a dark, you know, depressing future. Sometimes your credit score could go up. Wow, I feel like this is the the 
the hero to yeah. <laughs> that combats the villain we just talked about. Yeah, really. light and dark, yeah. Right. But one man who is definitely guilty of the crimes that he was accused of, no misidentification here, um, a man named Wilson, you know what, it's weird, I like looked up his name right before and now I can't remember, I'm switching to my head, it's either Jackson Wilson or Wilson Jackson. Wilson Jackson sounds Jackson more. Wilson sounds like a TV character. And this man had some TV character like exploits, so let's just call him Jackson Wilson. Jackson Wilson. Jackson Wilson, Wilson. Wilson. Right, my man. Um, Wilson, oh, wait, we're getting Wilson, confirmation it's that Wilson it was Jackson. Uh, Wilson Jackson. Aww, uh, yeah. I liked when we were. So, Jackson Wilson. Jackson back, Wilson. Back Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, because he probably changed up his identity a few times. He had a real good scam running. Yo. Um, he was meeting women on dating sites, and then usually from like other states. He lived in California. He was flying them out to California. Um, and then he would steal all their information, much like these tech companies, um, and take money from their accounts. Yep. He would or, actually steal checks from the middle of their checkbooks. Uh, yeah. He would actually steal, yes, steal yeah. literally from their purses he and their personal information. And yeah, he asked, like, oh, sometimes, like, oh, yeah, my, my stuff ain't right right now, so right. can I get a loan that he would clearly never pay back? Right. Um, a true genius. A true genius. Uh, <laughs> this man... I, like he said, he was flying them out. So yeah. that means he probably would scam someone yeah, he had to get enough money to, to, get to, to <laughs> fly out another victim, right? Under the illusion that I have money. I could be flew you out. Right. But just to continue the cycle of robbery, trickery, and theft. And like I said, like if you got a good plan. You know, that's truly all you need to succeed right. in life. Yeah. Well, so he was, he had been a rapper. Um, his rap names were The Truth. And <laughs> sincere spelled with a Y. He was truthfully insincere when he <laughs> all these names. <laughs> like it was um, appropriate names. Yeah. But also, um, this man is just the male Cardi B. Oh God. You do I knew you were just trying to say something to like it, I was waiting. I was like, what's he gonna say? What's different? You don't believe that. What's different? You don't believe that. Do you believe it? Because okay. Listen, and I'm not, I didn't even defend Cardi B when all those allegations came out. I wasn't like in the whole, she was just doing what she had to do. Like, I didn't, I never said that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like, I think that she did a bad thing, just like a lot of other poor people have done bad things, That's bad awesome. things. He's not poor. We have no evidence that he's poor. I mean, Plus, his scamming had been going pretty damn well. So, so was Cardi B's clearly. Cardi B, listen, so. <laughs> I don't think Cardi B, like Cardi B was probably making good money stripping. I'm not going to assume that she had to do it at this point, but it's just like at a certain point, our favorite rappers who were, who were dealing drugs, they probably didn't have to continue at a certain point. Mike Tyson, when he was a successful boxer, used to go back to his neighborhood in Brooklyn and stuff people for fun. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, Cardi B, what I'm but, saying um, is a lot of people who are in certain listen, situations. They're both they, finessers. And you're trying to justify. I never tried to justify. It. I said what she did. Finesse it in the same way, exactly. But until listen, they're in the same boat. <laughs> I think that there's something a little bit different about you go to a woman who's a sex worker, and yes, she takes more money from you than you assumed, and she drugs you, which is wrong, right? Versus so Cardi B's you, worse. Got it. <laughs> Versus you are going on a date with somebody and you think that you are entering into a romantic relationship. They're both bad. I'm not saying like, you know, but saying, we have no insight into this man's financial situation. We don't know if he felt like he was in a situation where he matters. had to do this. Whatever you will. So Daniel <laughs> um, had posed the question. He was like, do you think it's worse? Like, what if you were in like a long term relationship with somebody and like, you spent a lot of money on them and then the relationship dissolved and you were heartbroken and you had spent all that money or to have a short term kind of fling thing like this and the person just completely robs you blind. Which is worse. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, long term. Really? More uh, time, which is valuable. Yeah. More, uh, probably more money because it's long term, yeah. longer term. And you can't get it back. Do you, you know what I'm saying? You can't get it back. Like, and it also is emotional hurt. 
Yeah. Right? You can't you can't write yeah. that off on your taxes. Right. Uh, yeah. And what what do you think is worse, like a situation where you're in a long term relationship, and let's say you just happen to drop a lot of money on the person, um, but it ended, you know, it had been a sincere, true relationship, versus maybe it was a relationship where you got a lot from the other person, a lot of emotional support, maybe even a good amount of money, um, but then at the end you found out that they were using you for something else. Maybe they were, you know, gay, not comfortable coming out of the closet. They use you to have, like, you know, a like marriage. Used or is worse than being robbed in any uh, scenario. So I'm gonna go with uh, that. I have no heart, and I only care about money. So I would rather be used. I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. that's fair. <laughs> don't take my money. You can waste my time, but don't take my money. That's what I feel. Margaret, about it. time is money. <laughs> That is fair. Boom. All right. And that's all we got for you for today. Yeah. <laughs> Important right. lessons were learned. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you uh, enjoy what you saw here, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.